Hi guys, here's a video going over 10.2 parabolas, day two. So day one of parabolas was graphing, day two of parabolas is writing an equation. Okay, so here is our first example. I am given the vertex and the focus. Now before we actually start this example, at the very top what I'm going to do is I'm going to write um, our forms for the equation. So we have two forms for our um, parabolic equations. I have x minus h quantity squared equals 4p times y minus k. And these are for parabolas that open up or down. I also have the equation y minus k quantity squared equals 4p times x minus h. And this is for parabolas that open to the right or to the left. Now in order to actually write the equation, there's a couple pieces of information that you need. You need to know your vertex because your vertex is hk and you need to know what p is. p is the distance from your vertex to your focus. It is also the distance from your vertex to your directrix. And you also need to know the direction. So those three things are going to help us determine what equation we're going to use as well as how we are going to set it up. So my first example is I have my vertex at negative 2, negative 7, and my focus is at negative 2, negative 2. So since I have my vertex, I already have my h and my k. So I have that portion of my equation, and what I need to do next is figure out what p is as well as figure out the direction. So if I look at this, I have negative 2, negative 7, and I am going from this point to my focus, which is negative 2, negative 2. Sometimes it's helpful to actually plot these points. So negative 2, negative 7, oh I made that graph, that graph was not super helpful. So negative 2, negative 7 would be somewhere down here. So negative 2, negative 7 this point over here. I'm not actually going to plot it for accuracy. I'm mostly plotting it for the visual. So negative 2, negative 7. And my focus is negative 2, negative 2. So that'd be somewhere over here. And once you kind of have this visual, you can um, see how your graph is going to open because your parabola always opens towards the focus. So if I'm starting at my vertex and I go towards my focus, that means this particular parabola is opening up. And since I know my parabola is opening up, I know I'm going to use this equation um, for my parabola since it's opening up instead of to the left or to the right. So I have my x, or I have my h and my k, so now the last thing I need to do is I need to figure out what my p is. Um, so p is the distance from your vertex to your focus. So I am going from negative 2, negative 7 to negative 2, negative 2. So I'm traveling this distance. So my y coordinates are the ones that are changing. And I am going from negative 7 to negative 2, which means I am moving 5 units. So p is going to equal 5. And now that I know what p is, I have my h and my k, I know which equation I'm going to use, I can go ahead and write my answer. So I have x minus h, so that becomes x minus negative 2, which becomes x plus 2, equals 4p times y minus k, so y minus negative 7 becomes y plus 7. And of course we know 4 times 5 is 20. So I have 20 times y plus 7, um, x plus 2 quantity squared, and this is my equation for the parabola that has the vertex at negative 2, negative 7, and the focus at negative 2, negative 2. All right, now for this one, I am given my vertex and my directrix. So I have my vertex, here's my h and my k, and I have my directrix x equals 10. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch this out once again just so I can get my visual. 
So at seven, three, I would move to the right seven and then up three. So I'm gonna put my vertex right here. Uh, my point is seven, three. And my directrix, x equals 10, means I would be crossing my x-axis. So my directrix is doing something like this. And that is at x equals 10. Now, the way that um, parabolic graphs go is you have your directrix. Depend it doesn't matter the direction. So I have my directrix. And then after my directrix is your vertex. After your vertex is your focus. It always goes directrix, vertex, focus, directrix, vertex, focus. And so if my vertex, or sorry, if my directrix is right here and my vertex is over here, that means my focus is somewhere over here. Now, I don't actually care where that point is. Um, I'm just using it to figure out my direction because my parabola always opens towards the focus. So opening towards the focus means this parabola is opening to the left. All right, so the last thing I need to do is I need to figure out what P is. P is the distance from my vertex to my focus. It is also the distance from my vertex to my directrix. Now, I don't actually know where my focus is. I just drew it for the sake of figuring out my direction, but I do know where my directrix is. So what's happening is I am going from an X of seven to an x of 10. Well, how far away is 7 from 10? It is 3 units. Now, since my parabola is opening to the left, there's one extra thing that we have to do with the p, and we have to make that p negative. So anytime your parabola is opening to the left or down, you're going to make that p negative. But once you have that, it's opening to the left, so that means my y is going to be squared. So I'm going to use this version of my equation. So y minus k quantity squared equals 4p times x minus h. So I have y minus 3 from my vertex equals 4p. Well, p is negative 3, so 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Um, x minus h, so x minus 7. And there is your equation for the parabola that has a vertex at 7, 3, and the directrix at x equals 7. So, so far we've had an example where we had the vertex and the focus. This one had the vertex and the directrix. Now let's see what happens when I have the focus and the directrix. So again, I'm going to go ahead and sketch this out. So my focus is at negative 2, 7. So negative 2, 7 would be somewhere over here. Here's my focus. My directrix is y equals negative 8. Um, so y equals means I'm going to go to my y-axis at negative 8. And this ends up being a horizontal line. So my focus is at negative 2, 7 and my directrix is y equals negative eight. Now your vertex is smack in the middle of your, ver or your focus and your directrix. So I need to figure out where my vertex is. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna figure out what this distance is from my focus to my directrix. Well, what's happening is I am going from a y of seven to a y of eight. So to get from a y of negative eight, sorry. So to get from negative eight to seven, that is a distance of 15 units. So that entire distance across is 15 units. So if I cut that in half, 15 divided by two is 7.5. So that's actually what my P is. So if you recall, P is the distance from your vertex to your focus. It is also the distance from your vertex to your directrix. So if I have the entire distance from my focus to my directrix, that means that distance is actually two times P, since your vertex is gonna be in the middle. Okay, so where the heck is my vertex? Well, so if my focus is at negative two seven, my P is 7.5, that means I need to move down seven and a half units to figure out where my vertex is. Now, if I am making a vertical movement, 
that does not change my x-coordinate. So my vertex is going to have the same x-coordinate as my focus. So that's at negative 2. And then my focus was at 7, but I needed to go down 7.5 units. So that means my y-coordinate of the vertex is at negative 0.5. All right, so now we have this visual. I have my directrix vertex focus, and if you look at um, the way everything is laying out, we can see that this parabola is opening up because it goes from your vertex to your focus, and that is going up because it always opens towards the focus. So now I have my uh, H and K from my vertex. I have my P, I know what direction I'm going, I can go ahead and write out the equation. So since I am opening up, I'm going to use this version of my parabolic equations. So that's x minus h quantity squared equals 4p times y minus k. My h was negative 2, so that becomes x minus negative 2 becomes x plus 2 quantity squared. 4 times p is going to be 30 since p was 7.5. And then y minus k, so y minus negative 0.5 becomes y plus 0.5, or 1 half, um, if you prefer the fraction. And here is your equation for your focus at negative 2, 7, and your directrix at y equals negative 8. Now, a common mistake um, that happens is this right here, your focus. Your focus is not hk. People see the point and they automatically assume that that's going to be your vertex. Well, it's not your vertex because clearly it says the word focus. So just be careful with that, a little warning for you. So when you're given your focus and your directrix, you need to find your vertex and your vertex is right in the middle. All right, nice little word problem for us. The interior of a satellite TV antenna is a dish having the shape of a paraboloid. A paraboloid is a three-dimensional parabola that has a diameter of 12 feet and is two feet deep as shown in the figure below. Write an equation of the parabola that represents the satellite dish. Right now our satellite dish is at an angle. I want to go ahead and make it flat um, just for the sake of explanation. Let's see, so I know this right here is two feet, and I know this distance across is 12 feet. And if I want to write the equation, I want to actually put this on a coordinate plane. And I am going to put my vertex right at the origin, because it makes life easier because if I put my vertex at the origin, I now know my vertex is at zero, zero. Now, as you can see with the way that I drew this parabola, my parabola is gonna open up. So I'm gonna use this form of my equation. So x minus h quantity squared equals four p times y minus k. I have my vertex, which is zero, zero. So I'm gonna put in zero for h, zero for k, and that leaves me with x squared equals 4p times y, just because my vertex was at 0, 0. Now, I don't actually know what p is because I don't know where my focus is, um, but what I do have is I have some pieces of information that will help me figure out the ordered pair for that point. So if my entire length across is 12, and my vertex is right in the middle, that means this distance is six units, and this distance is two units, which puts my ordered pair at six, two. So now that I have that point, I can go ahead and use that to solve for P. And again, I don't know what P is because I have not been given any information about my focus or the directrix. So I'm gonna have to use a point um, for my X and my Y to solve for P. So my x is 6, so I have 6 squared equals 4p times y, which is 2. That gives me 36 equals 8p. Divide both sides by 8, and I have p equals, I'm using my calculator, p equals 4.5. Yeah, that's fine, 4.5. I was debating whether or not I wanted to change that to a um, fraction, but we'll just go with it. 
Um, and then now that I have my P, I can go ahead and write my equation. Here's the equation that I am going to set up. So I have x squared equals 4P, so 4 times 4.5 gives me 18Y. And this right here represents the equation for that satellite dish. All right, so that is your notes for day two of Parabola's writing equations.